This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and today we're going to look at a Wi-Fi range extender. You know, we don't review routers very often or wireless range extenders because, well, exactly the reason why this product exists. Because you look at it, you say, there's a plastic box. You spend the rest of your time looking at a computer screen and maybe feeling baffled, you know, unless you're kind of techy. This one actually has a touch screen, so it takes a whole lot of the fear and the weirdness out of setting up something like a wireless range extender. Why do you need one of these? Well, if you have... A decent sized house. This isn't for your city apartment dweller types, but a suburban house, a business, something like that. You know how your Wi-Fi signal doesn't make it to some rooms of the house, some floor of the house, something like that. You put this guy halfway between your router, your main router, and the place that has a dead spot. You don't put it where the dead spot is because, well, that spot is dead. Anyway, halfway in between, you put this here, you set it up, and voila, no more dead spots. So that's why we're looking at this. This is the Amped Wireless Tap X because it has a touch screen, a three and a half inch touch screen you can interact with. And we're gonna look at it now. So this is the Amped Wireless Tap X. This is a Wi-Fi range extender. For those of you who have houses or businesses that are, well, too big for your existing router, which is not an uncommon problem, or maybe there's some pretty serious walls in between certain rooms, anything like that that's gonna mess with your wireless coverage. As you can see, the screen goes to sleep, and we have reset it to factory fresh, so you can see how the setup works from the beginning. Three and a half inch touchscreen. So here's the thing. I mean, I have a background. I was in IT. I was an IT director, and I know how to set up all these guys, but it's never exactly what I would call fun and enjoyable, especially for the extender that's some other location, and you're just trying to do it through a web browser, figuring out all the settings. You, you may not even be in the same room with it to interact with it. It's all kind of daunting. With this guy, it's all right here, right in front of your face. No software install CDs, no monkey business whatsoever there. Now you can administer this using your web browser if you wish to as well. So that is possible and like all routers you should set a password on it so that it's secure and not anybody else can well monkey in on your router. Anyway, it's $120. So as a range extender goes, it's a little bit on the more expensive side. They're the really simple ones that plug into wall outlets and they're standalone models like this that are more capable. This one has a particularly high gain amplifier inside. They came, claim 10,000 feet of coverage. Well, 10,000 feet is more than a lot of us have available to test with. Suffice to say in our test that it really does have a power, powerful amplifier. And that's what the standard antenna it comes with. This is a typical, you can unscrew it kind of antenna right here if you want to put a different one on, but I doubt that's going to be necessary, honestly. Like all of these, it's genuine plastic. They're never really much to look at. The Netgear Nighthawk is probably the most exciting looking one if you like that kind of, I'm a video game player, scary router, look. Power jack right here. Obviously we have it plugged in to ethernet ports. Now these are for plugging in other things that need a network connection, not for plugging this into ethernet in your wall. So that means you can plug in your Xbox 360, your smart DVD player, whatever it is, anything that wants a wired connection. So basically it's going to pick up the Wi-Fi signal from your router and it's going to convert it into Ethernet here. This is 10100 Ethernet. It's not gigabit Ethernet. That's kind of a bummer for 120 bucks. I would love to see gigabit on here. We also have a USB port for, well, flash drives, hard drives, anything you want to share media-wise. USB 2.0. We would love to see 3.0 for faster speeds there. Again, not the end of the world would be nice. Reset button right there, you just press that if you need to reboot it, if it actually gets hung, if you press and hold it for 15 seconds, you can wipe it out to factory settings. Ventilation holes all around it. Typically these things actually do have processors, they need that, and we have the removable stand back here. You could mount it on a wall if you want to, or you can stand it up. We'll go with the stand it up option. Well, one thing I think a lot of people miss is the fact three and a half inch touchscreen, big fingers, I, not always easy to use. This little thing right up here, you might just think there was something in the casing. This is actually their built-in little toothpick pokey stylus. You remember the old days of like pocket PCs when you had a pokey stylus? That's exactly what it is. So to set it up, here we go, no connection because we wiped it out fresh right here. You can hit scan and it'll find all the wireless networks in your area. Hopefully you'll pick yours and not your neighbors. You can get quick access to settings and system status. Not much to see right now because, well, it's not set up. So here are the wireless routers that it's picked up in our area and it tells you recommended signal strength. Should be 70% or better. And the one we want to connect to is our Hogwarts network right there. So we're looking good. It's good that it actually see it informs you. It tells you, 
you don't have it in a good position if you're less than 70% strength right there. And well, you should just do something about that. Next, you enter in your wireless security key right here. Let's see what that keyboard looks like. And there it is. And if you need to switch the numbers, there's a little number button. See, this is where you're really going to want to use the little pokey tool that I have right here, because this is not the easiest thing to use with a finger, given that it's a three and a half inch screen. We're talking old iPhone size right there. Notice that we had a 2.4 gigahertz network we picked. That's another thing that we're not too thrilled with here. You know, I can live with the 10100 Ethernet and the USB 2.0 versus 3.0, but this is a 2.4 gigahertz only single band repeater. This does not have 5 gigahertz. Now, for a lot of you, you don't really care. You just want a signal. That's too much to even worry about. But for those of you who are more networking aware, you know that 2.4 gigahertz band is more polluted because a lot of people already have their Wi-Fi routers in your neighborhood set up on 2.4 gigahertz. Bluetooth uses 2.4 gigahertz. Wireless keyboards often use 2.4 gigahertz. And then there's other things. So, like I said, it's not the end of the world, but for the price, I would have liked to have seen dual band. Anyway, we're going to enter our network key and see what comes next. So now we've used our security key for our main router and we have connected and it shows you the little training command right here. Now you can clone your settings or you can use a different Wi-Fi password for the range extender. I think just about everybody is going to want to use clone settings and that's what we're going to do. And you can rename the wireless extender if you wish to do so as well. It tells you exactly what's going on right there. Alrighty, it's happily set up here and we've got the dashboard available over here of settings. You can go back to the setup wizard if you want to well, start all over again, change something like that. Change your Wi-Fi settings, management. So you can set your screen time out there. You can show the clock on it and so on. Create a lock passcode. Always a good idea to do that. We've got system status right there so you can see how much data has been. And you've got access to logs here in case you want to see if anybody's been, anybody's been hacking into your network or trying to. Firmware update right on the device. That's nice. USB storage sharing control. And we have web menu. And that basically tells you what URL to use if you want to use your web browser to configure it instead. So there you go. It's Pretty simple. It's pretty easy to use. Now, you know, it's not always the quickest here, obviously, to respond. This is for your average home user who is not into the latest cutting edge wireless. You're not using this for serious LAN party gaming, something like that, where you want dual band Wi-Fi. But in terms of connection reach and throughput speeds on 802.11n networks, 300 megabit per second, it's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. So for those of you who want simple, you don't need every feature in the world. You don't care too much about dual band. So that's the Amped Wireless Tapex. It's available now, $120. Like I said, it's not top notch as range extenders go in terms of features and band support, but in terms of wireless coverage and ease of use, well, it is tops there. I'm Lisa from Mobile Tech Review. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.